If you're a web designer and you want to stop charging 500 bucks for a website and charge 5, 10 or 20k and do it within minutes, then I'm going to show you in this video using Reloom. I'm going to break down my whole process on how I'm able to create amazing websites for my clients and it's easier than you think. So let's jump in. Just to show a quick example, I actually built this website recently using Reloom as well. So you can see a lot of the structure is there and then you custom design the layout and components. So this is something we designed and I think it's super cool. So over the past few years, Reloom has updated with more components. It even has a style guide feature, which is in beta and I'll show you that it's super cool. And they're constantly, you know, making the software better, making it more collaborative, just adding to the libraries. And it's just a really great tool. I'm actually, I use a part of my, my workflow. So I'm gonna click on launch in the top right, and I'm gonna go to my projects. For this video, we're gonna be creating an agency website. It's gonna be called Immortal Studio. Um, I'm gonna treat it like a branding agency, like a subscription model, probably um, a design service. And so here's the back end. All you gotta do is just click new project and it's gonna take you to the sitemap. Now the sitemap is pretty handy. What I like about it is you have an, the AI um, prompt tool on the left. So I can literally go onto the left-hand side here and I can type out and describe the company. So I'm gonna say, and then what you wanna do, once you describe a little bit what the agency, what the business is, um, you wanna describe sort of the pages. So if you go down the bottom, you can see the number of pages. So I can select one to five, five to 10, you can do 20 plus if it's a massive site. I'm just gonna do one to five pages for now. And I'm just gonna describe some of the pages. So. Then once you're happy with that, you just click generate site map and it will do all the work for you. So you can see here, it went ahead and generated the homepage and I can left click on it and I can click the three dots. You can ask AI to edit the prompt to change up the sections. If you want, you can generate a new site map. You can copy, delete, cut, paste. It's, it's really easy. And the cool thing is you can actually move things around as well. So um, you can see my pages here, I can move them around. And so what I love about it is you've got these global components. I can click the plus button as well and collect any section. So maybe I want a hero section. Um, you know, I can put a hero header, I can put that in here. It's already done a uh, hero header, feature section, services, um, team, testimonial, CTA. Uh, maybe I want some pricing. I'm gonna delete the newsletter section. So I just click delete, press the plus, and then I'm gonna, um, you can search for sections as well. So I'm gonna type pricing, put that there. And we've got that the team, maybe we'll put that at the bottom, called the action, uh, feature services, feature section. And we can just type in, let's, we can just say like, all your pieces. Um, you can even just say hero. And we can describe what we want here if we want. Um, so you can always just type in here and just say like, show six pieces, scrolling, maybe like a scrolling slider, projects, work, scrolling slider, whatever. So you have full customizability over everything. Now, what you can do now is I can come here and I can start building these from scratch or I can literally click generate content on all of these and it'll start generating as well. And you know, we can move sections around, I can move the pages. It's super easy, like, it's just, it's really intuitive, like it's snappy um, and I have full control on how many sections I have, how many pages I have. If I want to add more pages, I just literally click the plus button. And then I can say this page is maybe an FAQ page or something, you know, and click generate. And it'll just, based on the information you give it, it'll generate a page just like that. Now, once we're happy with that, what we can actually do is go to the top and we want to click on wireframe. Now, what it's going to do is literally generate wireframes based on those sections that you had in the sitemap. Now this is where it gets fun uh, because it's going to generate all these components and they're going to be fully customizable, which I love. So just like that, I'm going to quickly just show you some of the components. So it's generated the nav bar. We've got links there. You've got this hero image, nice image, and then the call to action on the left headline. Uh, you've got these sections here, feature sections. Uh, it's added all like the little um, tags and details and links, buttons, testimonials, pricing plan, team, and a solid footer as well. Super cool. So it literally gives you that base foundation to build an amazing website without having to do it from scratch. It just saves a ton of time. And then what we can actually do as well. So let's just focus on the homepage for now. I can actually come into here and I can change out the components. So 
can select the section, go to the left hand side and click replace component. And what I can do now is if I put my mouse over any other component in this um, in this bar over here, it's going to actually swap it out. So you can see it's changing it, which is super cool. So maybe I want this one. I can click on that and it's going to change that bar as you can see. And it's actually generating that, which is super cool as well. And even the hero section, you can change it. You've got a few options here of style, background, and element. So maybe I want to make it more of like a card. I'm going to, maybe I want it to be a video. Maybe it's a form. You can see it will just change on the fly. So it's really easy to switch out things. I can go here and click replace component and I can find other components as you can see. So I can spend the time to craft uh, a great experience here. Now, if I go to the bottom right, you can actually change to iPad view and also mobile view, with the little buttons. You also got to zoom in as well. So you can see what it would look like, which is super cool. So I'm just gonna stick with desktop um, for now. Now, let's just say I'm happy with the design for now. I can spend time and, um, you know, I would spend at least 30 minutes going through the components, selecting the ones I want and, you know, you get faster with it over time as well. So if I'm not happy with the section, like maybe I don't want this section here, I delete that. Maybe I don't want the team section, delete that. So we can really just customize and simplify things on the fly, which is super cool. I'm just going to go to the top left and rename this Immortal Studio. And I want to show you one of their cool new features as well, which is in beta, is the Style Guide feature. So up the top, I'm going to left click on Style Guide. Now, this is a mad time saver. It's so cool. It, basically, what it will do is generate colors and fonts for you. They're going to be updating it where it's going to generate even UI components, which is super cool, UI elements. And you can see on the right hand side, it's already gone ahead and <laughs> filled out the whole <laughs> um, each, each component and section filled out the whole website with you know AI content generated images and whatever and like text and colors which is like insane and the cool thing is I can actually click surprise me and it's going to just generate another bunch of different colors as you can see in fonts so you can get a whole bunch of weird styles so you can quickly get a feel get a glance get a vibe now what I like as well is I can click shuffle can shuffle the colors as you can see I can also click use light theme colors so if you want to switch it up like this which is cool i'm gonna do a dark mode because that's the vibe i like uh, i'm just gonna shuffle real quick and i'm going to play around and find some colors maybe we want like a um a, i don't know a purple color or an orange or something super cool and then once we like that color we can literally click lock and we can see that we get the hex code you can see you've got the shades of it as well which i love and super easy to use um, I'm going to shuffle these other ones around, which is cool. I probably don't want that many colors for this one. Maybe we go with like a gray or something. We'll lock that in. Awesome. And what I love about this as well, I'll show you this cool little thing they have. If you put your mouse over the section, you can change the shade, as you can see. So the shades you you have from your main colors, you can literally click that and it'll auto do it for you, or you can select it, which is nice. And you can left click on the actual just canvas like that. You can see little stars is generating as we're going through. So we'll go back to black there. And you can just see the power of it. Cool. Once we're happy with that, I'm going to left click on the heading font. And we can scroll through, you know, you can search for fonts as well. Um, they've got some collections here. Let's just go with um, something that's a bit more clean. It's obviously Google font, so um, you don't have too much um, to play with. Let's go with fig tree for the headings and for the body, we can just do fig tree as well. We just do like maybe like a light for the body. You can actually change the weights as well. So on the right side, you got these bars. You can also shuffle it, you know, and it will change the fonts for you. And if I click the drop down, you can change the weight so we can make it more bold and you can change, make it more spacious, which is super cool. And then we can go to the bottom right and you can actually change to see full screen so you can get a quick vibe of it, which is just amazing. And you've got some shortcut keys here as well. Now, what you can do is go to the top right and you can see we've got concept one. We can actually generate more concepts. So I can click on top three concepts, right? So what we can do is I'm gonna go back to concept one and I'm gonna click new concept and we can do say another version. Um, let's just maybe do a light version. Let's shuffle the colors or something. Um, we'll delete some colors and then I can go back and now we've got concept one and concept two. So I can quickly switch through um, both of them, which is cool. You can preview it, which is easier to do. 
so you can get a quick glance. Now, once I'm happy with that, what we can do is export it. So I'm just gonna go to Concept One, and I'm gonna go to the um, top right corner and click Export. And you, you can't export the style guide right now, so because it's in beta. But eventually, you'll be able to export the pre-made designs that you see here into Figma um, or into Webflow, which will be cool. Now, let's just go back to the wireframe. Now, what I'm going to do here is click Export, and we're going to go Export to Figma. Now, before you do that, uh, be able to customize it, you need to install the Figma plugin. So let's just make sure uh, I'm going to click open in, in Figma. So the latest one we can see is the version 2.8. So I'm going to click open in Figma and it's going to open my desktop app, which is cool. And we can see you've actually got the template here as well. So all we're going to do is just double click this and you can always duplicate it as well. And what it comes with on the left hand side, it will come with the, um, you know, you've got the welcome kit. So it's got, they have resources. They've also got the star guide, which is the main thing. So this star guide is basically what we're going to be changing the fonts um, the colors and the buttons um, it just makes it more streamlined even the logos as well so we've got this um, you've got the change log updates uh, and so we don't need these so we can just delete that and the book let's so delete that and then you've got all the components which is super cool so on the left hand side you can see if I scroll through you've got e-commerce e-com components application components and you've got marketing components so I can zoom in really quickly and show you what you got um, which is amazing so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go to Figma and I'm gonna go to the plugins and we're gonna type in Reloom down the bottom there, all the apps. And you can see it's already recognized my recent project called Immortal Studio. I'm gonna left click on that and I'm not gonna add the sitemap because I don't need it. I'm just gonna click add wireframe. Boom, and there you have it. It's literally generated the wireframes that we customized, that we created for each page. As we can see here, it gives you the mobile version as well. Typically, I just like leave the mobile versions out. So, I'll, you know, I'll go in and just delete those because the developer or I can make it responsive without not seeing the mobile design. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. So we can see this like this and we can obviously, you can put this on a separate um, page as well. So we can go to a new page and say design v1 you know paste it here um, or whatever and then so what we can do is i'm going to go to the style guide and you can see that we have to style the heading and and the text and the button so i'm going to click on the style guide and what we're going to do is we're going to go down to um, the text here so we can um, come here and let's um, go to typography on the right hand side and we're gonna click on the edit style button. I'm gonna change the font. Uh, let's see if it's got a fig tree. It does. Boom, so we've got that heading. Maybe we want it to be a little more bold. Uh, maybe you wanna go like extra bold or something like that. We can do that as well. And then we can just change all the other ones as well. I also recommend you can actually use the batch styler plugin. So this uh, allows you to change all the fonts really quick. So we've got the batch style plugin and you can come in here and you can literally just change it super quick. So you've got the H1, uh, we've got H2. So we can change all that super quick and we can change the weights. Um, and then we can just update the styles. Now, if I go to the UI elements and go to the buttons as well, I'm going to come into the buttons. So let's go to fill and what we can do is we can change it. So maybe we just want that orange color like this. And if I go to design V1 now, you can see, boom, we've, it's changed the color. It's changed the font as well. Let's see what we've got for this font. Uh, let's go. Let's change the body copy to fig tree, which is cool. Regular 18. Maybe we want it at 20. So we can do that and it basically updates everything um, as you can see here all the buttons have changed on the wireframe which is cool so we can go through here style it um, I did get some 3d elements as well um, here which is cool so we've got the logo um, so if I go back to uh, the style guide page I'll come here I'll drop my logo in here added our logo in there and then what you can actually do is you can do figma to webflow and you can go copy webflow but it's really easy to edit and create websites 
So if you want to check it out, I do have an affiliate link. You can actually check it out below. I'll put the link in the description. Give it a go. It's powerful and you'll love using it. It just saves that extra, you know, time at the start of the project when you're doing sitemaps and wireframes. I and mean, this will do it for you and it just speeds up that process. And then you can just do the fun stuff, which is just designing and playing with images and all that stuff. So definitely check it out. I think it's awesome.